I am Reverend Tom Kearns, and I'd like to welcome you to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. I am here at the Grafton Peace Pagoda. It is built in to honor the Buddha, and we celebrate the Buddha's birthday here every May. And this May will have a number of very nice aspects. So as we pray for peace, we also pray for goodness in your life. And here's what these aspects can mean for your sign. Venus enters Cancer on May 7th. She squares Uranus on the 25th. Scorpio, Venus shines her gentle light in your ninth house of the higher mind all month. You can use her energy to find opportunities to travel, to meet new people, or to go to places you've never been before. On a more important level, you mind your, might find your sense of awareness is enhanced and you have an increased ability to understand new ideas. A surprising and exciting gift of romance and pleasure may come your way on the 25th as Venus squares unpredictable Uranus. So listen to your deeper intuition. Mars enters Gemini on May 11th. Scorpio, Mars is transiting your eighth house of sensitivity. His energy will stimulate your intuition, so you should listen to your feelings as well as your ideas. Your sensuality is heightened, so be careful with your actions. Try to reach mutually beneficial deals in business and with joint finances. You will benefit by checking details and by negotiating fairly. This is a good time to purge yourself of bad habits. <laughs> if you keep your desires focused, you'll feel a sense of renewal. This is the perfect time to order a transit chart for the next 12 months or a personal psychic reading by phone. Find out more at ProfessorAstrology.com. Mercury goes retrograde on May 18th. He conjuncts Mars on May 27th. Scorpio, Mercury going retrograde in the eighth house, your house, of energy and intimacy suggests that an undercurrent of energy may bring confusion between partners or in business deals. People you count on may say one thing and do another. Don't take it to heart, they just might be confused. This is a good time to imp really check important details in investments or other business ventures. And you need to be gentle in intimate issues, especially around the 27th when warrior planet Mars joins with retrograde Mercury. Make peace and you will heal hurt feelings. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. If you need more pertinent information based on your time, date, and place of birth, go to my website, professorastrology.com, and go to the readings page, and you'll find a way that you can order a transit chart or a personal psychic reading. I'd like to, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please share these videos with your friends because they're free. And please subscribe. Again, have a great month.